Welcome to Benjamin Obdike's Test House. Today we're going to be looking at our Slicker Max installed with our masonry rain screen system. We've already installed our flat wrap HP using 4 inch or overlaps on our horizontals, 6 inches on our verticals, and 12 inches around our outside corners. We've used our HydroFlash GP as our window and door flashing and also using it as our air control layer with our sheathing. For this installation, we're gonna be using our sheathing as our air control layer. That means we're going to tape our seams of our sheathing as well as our terminations down to our foundation using our Hydro Flash. The next step was we're gonna use our flat wrap as our main water control layer. So we wanna make sure that at our bottom detail that we have it properly shingle lapped and we're gonna have a metal drip flashing at the bottom in order to have all that water cascade off of the foundation. With a traditional stucco assembly, the weep screed on the foundation is generally behind the WRB or the water control layer. This allows water to shed down the wall and out. However, when we're installing our Slicker Max, we have to account for the extra quarter of an inch thickness. And we want to make sure that we still have the right thickness of our stucco. So we're actually going to be installing the weep screed on top of the Slicker Max assembly. So this is going to allow for the drainage of liquid water down the WRB and promote airflow in the Slicker Max layer. For this top ventilation detail, we're actually going to be using our weep screed and turning it upside down. This is going to butt up to the J channel on the rake and allow for air to flow through these holes and through the channels and through the Slicker Max rain screen. Now they also manufacture a different type of ventilation system which has pre-manufactured holes to allow for that air to escape through the channel system. So now we have our flat wrap HP installed with our HydroFlash GP with all windows and doors, and that's installed as our main water control layer. So after that point, it's as simple as putting the Slicker Max on the entire wall using T50 staples or cap fasteners. So now we have the Slicker Max installed over the entire WRB. So we can go back with our trim, which will be installed directly to the face of our Slicker Max and any of our stucco accessories, including our casing beads or our weep screeds. So now we have our trim detail installed over top of our Slicker Max. And you can notice that we left a quarter inch gap above our drip edge. So this is gonna allow for any water that's coming down our flat wrap to drain off of that drip edge and also allow air to pull into that Slicker rain screen assembly. And then also on top of the Slicker, we have our casing bead. This is gonna allow for our sealant to our trim from our stucco as well as an additional drip edge on top of our trim detail. That's gonna allow for any of that cascading water to flow out. When using Slicker Max behind masonry applications like veneered stone or stucco, it's critical to look at the details as we want to make sure that we have the proper airflow behind that masonry assembly. Thank you for stopping by Benjamin Obdike's Test House, where we strive to help you build better.